What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I want to show you five of my favorite iOS 8 extensions right now. So, as you can see here on my home screen, I have 1Password, View Source, Awesome Screenshot, Bing, and Evernote. And I'm going to show you and demonstrate for you why I like these five different apps and their associated extensions so much because they're really useful. So the first one is the most outstanding one in my opinion, and that is 1Password because that is just so handy to have. So I'm going to show you here. I'm on Google's website. I'm going to try to log into Google, but with 1Password, I actually don't have to type anything. I can just use the password stored. I use the share button at the bottom of the screen. You see the 1Password extension there. I tap that. It's going to request that I use Touch ID to authenticate which I will do. Notice I'm not typing anything. No keyboard appears. Uh, so I'm just going to place my thumb on the Touch ID sensor and it verifies. I just tap my login information and I log in just like that. So simple. 1Password is a great tool. Now the next extension that I want to show you is called View Source. It allows you to view the source of a website. So to do that, I'm going to, well, it's actually not in my list of activities, so I'll tap more and then I will enable the View Source switch. I'll use the row reorder button to drag it up to the top, just like this. I'll tap done. And now I'll find view source to the left in my activities list there. There's view source. So all I do is load up the web page that I want to view the source on, tap the view source button after tapping the share button, and there you go. There's the source of iDownload blog there. And then you can obviously go in, copy, and share the source of iDownload blog. You can just tap the uh, share button in the upper right hand corner, like that. You can see you can copy it to the pasteboard, send it as an email, toggle highlights, choose a theme, etc. So this is extremely handy, especially if you're a web developer or if, even if you just like to dig around and see what's going on with any particular website. So that's really cool. The next one is Awesome Screenshot. I've actually covered this before on the Mac, but now it is on iOS. It is, well, it lives up to its name. It's awesome. And the really nice thing about Awesome Screenshot is its extension in Safari. So for instance, if you open up Safari and then you tap on the share button, you can use the Awesome Screenshot extension to take a screenshot of an entire web page. Yes, from top to bottom. Or you can just take a screenshot of the portion of the screen that's showing at the moment. So I'm gonna tap the Awesome Screenshot button and then you see at the top, full page and visible. So if I wanna take a full page screenshot, I can tap full page or I can just tap visible, which I'll do now. And there is just the visible page taken just like that. It only captures the web page. It doesn't capture any of the other UI on the actual browser. So that's really cool. You can even crop and further define the portion of the web page that you want to capture. And you can even use markup tools such as a circle or an arrow. You can draw right on the screenshot and then save that to the photos app. This really is a great extension and I highly recommend it to anyone who is even remotely interested in capturing a full web page. Now, the next item is Bing. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Bing, why Bing? Well, this allows you to actually perform on the fly translations from any website in Safari. I'm gonna show you how this works. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna load up a, um, a foreign language web page here. Here's Sony's Japanese website, and you can see there is Japanese text there. Um, obviously that's not going to be able to be read by someone who doesn't speak Japanese, but if you have the Bing extension, you can quickly translate that on the fly without leaving Safari, which is really awesome. So you see there Bing translator, just tap on that and you can see it translating right there on the fly and it's done just like that. So now we have English text where those buttons were. You see that now I can actually read what those buttons are and I can tap on the one that I want to. For instance, if I was interested in the PlayStation, I would tap the game button. Now I can actually read it. This is a very awesome extension. And again, I highly recommend it. Now, last but not least, the Evernote share extension is just one of the best things since sliced bread because I am, as you know, a very, very um, hardcore Evernote user. I am completely paperless. Well, almost to, to a certain point. I'm completely paperless. I use Evernote all the time. And uh, this makes it easy to capture web pages and send them, to, send them to Evernote. And it doesn't just work with web pages. It works throughout all of uh, iOS. So you can share certain things to your notebooks in Evernote. But in this example, I'm just showing you how you can share a website directly to a specific notebook. You can choose that notebook directly from the Evernote share extension. So this has been an overview of five different 
different applications and their corresponding extensions. Highly recommended apps. Uh, you can find these on the App Store from either free to 99 cent. I think View Source is the only one that actually costs anything. It's 99 cents. So highly recommend it again. Go out to the App Store, get these apps, and relish in the awesome functionality that these extensions bring to the table. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.